Sunday I would come to church and I would sit with my friends and most of the times we would be at the back because we thought we were like church I have been to is Kunbi, and th that was and still is the church I grew up in and praised him and just sit and talk to, pr to and pray to God and thank him for letting us be here alive with the family and just, to, and just to think of how fortunate it was to have a loving family. Why I used to come here as a daily routine and come, come with my mom and my two sisters. I started to get tired of always coming to church and sit at the back of the chapel and thinking I was cool and gangster. I would not have bothered to stand up to praise until one of the teachers would catch me and make me stand up. I haven't met the, um, I, the true meaning of going to church until I was moving from Sparks Ministry to the High C Ministry. Before when I used to be in grade 6 about to go into high C, I would always want to come to church to play basketball in the gym and secretly whisper to my friends during service. You do not do that anymore. So during the summer of grade six, going on to grade seven, I was asked to come to the high sea summer retreat. And listening from what my sisters would say after they came back from their retreats, I would think that retreats were fun and games. Before, but before all that happened, it still occurs today. If I ever have a problem going on, some um, a problem going on, somehow I felt like God had sent me a sign to listen carefully to what Pastor Lisa said because this problem I had in the week was a main subject for a sermon. 
I wouldn't participate much in our group time during um, during the time when we would talk about God. Also during Pastor Lisa's sermon, it uh, was really difficult sometimes for me to understand, so I gradually closed my eyes and fall asleep. Sorry, Pastor Lisa. <laughs> then on the last day of the retreat, it was the overflow of the time when we would just pray to God, and on that day I felt God was watching over me, so I prayed like I'd never prayed before. I kept asking for forgiveness and how I was so fortunate I was to be at the retreat and having a loving family and friends. And I prayed that he will, could forgive my father for the things he said and how he was against Christianity. And I hoped that one day he would come to church and praise him. After that day, I made a promise to myself um, that I would be good, which only lasted for a week or two. Then came March break retreat, and again, I promised myself that I would become better, which again only lasted for one or two weeks. The promises I kept making would always fail, and I would come always to these temptations that the evil one had brought. However, this one summer retreat, 2013, I was talking to... Um, to myself in my head. Okay, the reason why I am here is to learn more about God. I want to know more, know about Him more. And I will lift up my hands during praise and always be singing with my heart, not with my voice. And I will listen carefully to the words that Pastor Lisa had said. After the retreat ended, I went home and slept. Then during the night, I took the time to pray to God and the same routine would occur, continue every night. But at, yet at church, I felt like I was the most unclosest person to God. It was just a feeling I had in me. I wasn't like the others. I said my prayers. I would all, in my prayers, I my prayers would always stop. Okay, my prayers would always stop halfway, and I would stutter a lot. And I wasn't just saying what was in my heart. I would say that the same things that I would say every prayer. Then during one Friday night Bible study, Pastor Lisa approached me and asked if I wanted to be confirmed. And I thought carefully of how I wasn't a strong Christian like most people were at our church. Personally, I thought I wasn't ready for it, but since Pastor Lisa encouraged me to do so, I trusted and wanted to be confirmed. During those classes, I was thinking about my oldest sister. Whenever I would barge into her room, she would always be studying hard or be on her QT, which inspired me um, to inspire me how, how she was managing her time and how she managed to get good grades and be so close with God and always made my parents happy. So just like my older sister, I wanted to become closer with God and of course get good grades and just follow my sister's footsteps, always making my parents proud of being close with God. I recently had two car accidents, one with my mom and I, and the other with just my parents. I was so blessed that God kept my parents and I safe during the accident. Today I was on my way back from confirmation, so this was on Christmas um, class, and I asked my mom if she could take me to soccer, and she said I, and she said I didn't have a ride. I thought. I thought and said to myself, God has a plan for everything. So I thought that God had purposely not given me a ride to soccer so I could finish up my testimony for confirmation class and just concentrate on writing it. I feel that I've got, I have gotten closer with God and I listen more to what pastors have to say um, during their sermons and during confirmation classes. Even though I am nervous to go up on stage and look at, uh, look at, the view, look at hundreds of people at the chapel while I sweat in my suit, I know that God will be with me and Pastor Lisa and Reverend Lim as we get baptized and are confirmed. Thank Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I asked if you wanted to share anything, and it's sorry. Um,